Alright, hey guys, it's me again, and today we're going to talk about Zaku and a little bit about Void Damage. So, Zaku is the brand new Warframe coming in with the Heart of Nemios, and she's the only Warframe in the game that has access to Void Damage, other than our operators. Now, what is Void Damage good for? Eidolons. And what does Zaku not do? Someone's already saying next Eidolon Hunter. No, it will not be um, compatible with the Eidolon shields at present time. Interesting, um, okay, all right. So, because we didn't want to uh, go that route at present time. So just right. stay tuned for that. Right. And here's the thing about void damage. Void damage is actually like one of the worst, if not the worst damage type in the entire game. And the reason is, is it has no bonuses. It only has negatives. Now you may think that void damage deals increased damage to sentience. And it doesn't do that either. The only thing it does is reset their adaptation for the most part. And that's it. Also, there's the Void status effect, which is Bullet Tractor. And it's, this is not very good either. The only, like, the only other things that Void Damage are really good for is, what, destroying Kuva Clouds and changing Profit Taker's weakness? Like, the only real use I could see for Zaku at the moment is just for quests. Because how, how many quests nowadays require you to use your operator in some way, shape, or form because of void damage, right? And like, for example, the Umber quest, where you have to fight Umber, you needed to do that with void damage. Otherwise, Umber was basically invincible. It's situations like that where you don't have, like, a built amp or anything that Zaku would probably really shine. But other than that, like, she's not very good since her buff can't be used against the Eidolons. It's like some different type of void damage or whatever. Now, she does have some other abilities, but they're also not that great. Uh, for example, Grass of Lock, which disarms the enemy and takes their weapon and shoots void beams out of them. And that could be good, and it seems like the only, like, disarmability in the game that actually does, like, a lot of damage. So that's interesting. There's the Loss, which is her third ability, which is, like, three different abilities. And Gaze seems really good if it could hit 100% armor and shield reduction. And if this could do so in like a 360 degree radius, I think this might be better than Nyx's Psychic Bolts. I know Hildren has something similar, but she can't actually reach 100% defense removal unless it's she's in arbitration and she gets the bonus power strength. Because she needs to hit 400% plus power strength in order to be able to do that. And on top of that, it also freezes the enemy in place while it does that. Uh, the only down, like thing I notice about this ability is the base range seems really small. Uh, so I'm not really too sure about this ability. Like This ability could be her best if it had more base range. Then there's the Nye, which is just the Void Beam. And if they survive it, and they most likely will, because Void Damage is a bad damage type, it'll do some CC effect. And there's a Q's which turns the enemies affected into corrupted enemies, and then they turn on their former allies. Uh, and for the most part, that's just like a radiation proc. I don't see why that needs to be an ability, uh, or what it's going to be good for, to be honest. And then there's her ultimate, where she basically self-destructs and she gets like a movement bonus and a 75% damage reduction. 75% base is really good. I Hopefully they could get up all the way to 90% with some power strength. But other than that, the, the duration of this ability is kind of low. And I don't really see a whole a use for this, because like the self-destruct didn't look like it did much damage at all. If she even hit anybody with it. So using it as a nuke ability doesn't seem like a good idea. But other than that, there's not a lot going for Zaku at the moment. Like, she's kind of lined up to be, like, one of the worst Warframes in the game. Because, well, yeah, she's kind of a mix of other Warframes. But, like, she has, like, none of their strengths for the most part. And, like, her abilities are just, they're just not very good. And, like, Void Damage is just a, a bad damage type. So, I really hope they, like, maybe rework Void Damage a little bit. So it's like an actual usable damage type. I'm guessing that they thought that void damage, like it having negatives, would it would probably make up for the bullet attractor status effect. But like the bullet attractor status effect is not very good at all. So I don't really know why you'd want to use Zaku at the moment. In fact, I might just build her and then immediately scrap her to Helminth. Yeah, the only real use I could see for her is quests and Kuva siphons. If you don't want to use your amp. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.